All right, so it is, we're in the inside of a full service car wash. The uh, owner's complaining about his reclaim system, his recycler, saying it's not working. It keeps losing pressure. So we're gonna diagnose some problems, uh, talk about basically how the whole system on a, any car wash, it's all the same. Any car wash that recycles water all works the same. So right now we're looking at the inside of a tunnel. It happens to be a 100 foot tunnel. The car will come in, in the entrance over there, gets washed, and all the dirt and water goes into the pit. So the dirtiest part in any car wash is the pit. So how does this system work? Happens to be a great question. And how does that water get cleaned? So right here, Eric, you wanna pop this open? There's gonna be a pipe. All right, so you guys can see that pipe right here. All right, thank you. So the water and dirt doesn't get clean here, but it all goes underground through that pipe outside so we're going to come back on video and i'm going to show you guys uh how it works and how to diagnose all right problem. so remember we spoke about that pipe underground you have the pit all the dirt and water the dirtiest part in any car wash that's why every week every two weeks the um the workers are supposed to clean the pit out and get it as clean as it can be so the water flows underground through that pipe into the first holding tank so you have one you have the second under here under the plow you have three over here and you have the fourth. So if I were to ask you guys, which one would be the cleanest and which would be the dirtiest? It's a great question. The dirtiest is gonna be this one. It's all gravity fed. So this tank will be the highest. That one's a little lower. This one's a little lower than the next and that one's the lowest. So as the water gets pulled from the last tank, it's, gonna, it's all gravity fed. So every tank feeds into the next. So the dirtiest one is gonna be the first one. So once that dirt, settles down only the water will go to that second same thing in the third same thing in the fourth so it's all one big system so obviously if that recycle machine is going to pull water which tank should it pull the water from the dirtiest or the cleanest obviously the cleanest so now we're going to talk about what happened to the system why isn't it working when that owner called me and said that the pump is basically losing a prime he said if he's closed the day if it rains like it's going to in a couple minutes he goes, opens the next morning, and the pump has no more pressure. It doesn't have a prime, meaning that there's some air in the system. So I told him it could be two options, either this, which we're gonna talk about, or I asked him when the last time he rebuilt that pump was. Because it's reclaimed water, because it has salt from the cars in the winter, dirt, wheel chemicals, soap, which is very acidic, that pump gets beat down. So the first thing we did, I asked him, when was the last time he rebuilt it? He told me six years. So I said, regardless, if it helps the issue or not, we should rebuild that pump. I opened the recycle machine, I saw it's running at nine PSI, nine pounds per square inch, that's very low. So once we rebuilt the pump, which you could see in a previous video, we got that pressure back up to 35, almost 40 PSI. So he said it's working great, but when he was closed for a couple days because it rained, he went to go turn that pump on, it lost prime. So why did that happen? And this is why right here. These are called check valves. This is a two inch, and these two right here are three inch. So how that pump is designed to work is if you have this one right here, it's basically gonna be underground and that whole pipe is gonna go underground through the recycle unit. So the way the pump works is it only is designed to suck water. If there's air in that system, there's a problem. So you can see a little check valve right here. Same thing on this one. Kind of like on a Mack truck when you see the top of the exhaust, you get that little flapper. So when you close that pump, It should stop so when that customer when the the owner shuts that car wash off and that pump turns off the water flow has stopped so technically you're supposed to get a good seal so when he goes home at night you have this underground and you got that pipe into the recycle into that pump it should stay filled with water no air so over the years that check valve that chemicals has broken down the seal in here so the longer he's closed the more water that slowly leaks out so when he goes to turn that pump on, it's trying to suck water, but there's air in the pump. There's air in the pipe, sorry. So what we have to do is we're gonna drain the water. By putting that pump to drain the water in this one, it's gonna drain all of these because remember it's gravity fed. So as the level drops here, this one's gonna kick in and fill this up and so on. So once we get down in there, we already rebuilt the pump, which is a smart thing to do. You always start with the cheapest and the smartest thing to do. Draining, you know, 40, 50 gallons of water is not the smartest thing to do when it could be the pump. So we got that pump working at prime um, ability. 
So we're gonna go in and we're gonna fix a check valve. So when he closes for a day, two days, a year, that water is gonna stay in that pipe. When he goes to turn it on, it's just gonna only suck water. Because if there's air in that, it has a little combustion in that pump and it breaks it down faster. So this is gonna fix that problem. I really wanted to talk about the steps. Every car wash is set up this way. Most times the owners don't know how it works, so they're gonna call somebody in just going to make up a lot of things that could have this, you're going to do this, and you're going to look at a five, six, seven thousand dollar bill. So I want to really tell you guys how to fix it yourself. It's not a hard thing to do. You guys know how to cut PVC and glue it. It's a really simple thing to do. And uh, I really hope this saves you guys some money and some uh, headache. All right. One other thing I wanted to mention, guys, is you want to ask how it cleans it out. Remember that these don't have any type of pumps inside. They're all gravity fed. So like we said, that one's the dirtiest. Now the pipe that sucks the water out of here into the recycle is not close to the ground. It's very high off the ground and that's what really gets you to have some clean water. Because dirt's heavier than water, the sediment, all that crap flows right down to the ground. And I'd say that the pipe that that recycle pump is hooked up to, that the reclaim pump is hooked up to, is probably two feet off of that ground. So there are times, probably once every year, once every two years, that a company comes and they suck all the dirt out and clean it out once the level really gets too high. So right now we're good because that pump, or sorry, that pipe is well off the ground and that's how the water stays so clean. You guys can right. see this is the room for the recycle machine. Got two large tanks, one on the right and one on the left. Kind of see through the wall. So uh, that's an odor pump right there. That's solely what it's used for, just for the odor. And you can see the pipes. These are the pipes that lead outside. And we have the reclaim pump, the most important pump in the whole car wash. And that's right down here. That's the pump that we've rebuilt in the past. You could hear some water moving. You listen. That's because we're sucking the water out outside. So what that means is when we go home, when the owner shuts down the car wash, that that water which is supposed to stay put in that pipe is slowly draining out back into the holding tank. So when that pump kicks on, that's a Gorman Rupp, one of the nicest pumps you could buy. It's turning on and there's air mixed with water and that's what's causing that pump to uh, break down faster than it should. Okay, so that's basically how the whole system works. Really hope this video helped you guys.